Good morning. It's bright and early. Saturday morning, November 21st, 2020. Just want to make a, another video this morning because uh, I'm feeling inspired just to drop this video. Not only once in a while am I inspired, that's most of the time. A lot of what's been on my mind lately is that there are numerous deaths of all kinds taking place. People are dying needlessly. People are shooting, killing each other. And it's looking pretty grim out there in this world we live in. Uh, the coronavirus has taken out worldwide millions. And what I thought about was that death comes just when you do not even think about it's coming. It's sometimes a slow, approachable event. Sometimes it's so sudden you don't have time to react. Say, for instance, the other night I was driving home with my work, from work with my son. I just picked him up and just within an hour time of picking him up and returning back home, there was a truck car crash accident and it looks like as if it was uh, almost sudden. A misjudgment of uh, traveling distance and space between vehicles. But as I seen on the news uh, report, the next day was two people died from the crash in the truck one was injured and the other one sustained some minor injuries and we would say just that quick I passed this area then I come back and suddenly something happens Before I end this video, I want to let you know that death calls at times when we least expect it. Death could either be slow or it could be sudden or fast. But I want you to know that and to be encouraged by this is that you have an appointment day to meet God or whoever you claim to be your creator. I claim God to be my creator, the author and finisher of my faith. So therefore, when I leave here, I know that, without a shadow of doubt, that I was living the best life possible, and I was living the life that's pleasing to Him. There's a quote that God gave me some time ago, and the quote is simply this. You have one life to live, 
live that life, maximize that life, live to please God. If you're not pleasing God, then who are you pleasing? Make sure that you know who your creator is, your redeemer is. Make sure you know who God is. He's not the man upstairs. He's not the man downstairs. But he's a God that is everywhere at the same time. He's omnipresent. So I encourage you today to take God as your personal savior. We're living in times that like we never seen before. And in my six decades of living, I've never seen anything like this before. Part of my life was spent, as a matter of fact, 22 years of my life was spent in the military, serving my country. I've seen some atrocities while serving, but I had never seen atrocities like what we are faced with today. And these atrocities are untimely. So don't live your life on the edge. Don't carry a gun unless you got a permit. Don't do anything that you know in your natural mind that is not right. Because when it enters into your mind, it goes into your heart. And the next thing you know, you're doing something out of character. So let God be your guide. And don't live this life by yourself. There are a lot of people in this world today, and most of us, most of us can say that we don't trust nobody. And that's true, you can't trust everybody. <clears throat> Especially if you have something that is uh, of a certain level of confidence. And just make sure you let somebody know how you feel once in a while. Let them know that you love them. And make sure that when you say you love them, you love them. And I leave you with this. If you don't say any prayers at all, say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. God bless you. Have a blessed weekend. What's left of it. And make sure you know who your creator is. Bye.